Howdy everybody, it's Amy from Amy Sparkly Diamond Painting. How are you doing this evening? Today is May 9th, which I guess I'm losing track of days. It's been such a weird week. So today is Thursday, and I have an unboxing for you. And this one is from New Craft Day. So this was the PR package order that they asked me to review. And I've shown it, you can see the full review with the partial completion up to oh, about here on uh, my video review for that. I've gotten a little bit more done, so I just wanted to show you that real quick with a little bit more in this section to go. But it's going along nicely. But when they shipped this order, I went ahead and went on their website and placed an order myself. So this is uh, paid for by me. And I wanted to share some of that with you. And I will put a little teaser out and say if you've seen some of those diamond painting clocks, one of those is in here. But I did take a few notes on this so I could give you more details about how long it took, what the prices were, stuff like that on this one. Because this was my own money. So I wanted to share a little bit more of what they have to offer, but also try to place an order on my own and see how it went. So one of the things, though, that I've noticed with a lot of budget diamond painting companies, and this is a budget diamond painting company, is that a lot of them sell a lot of the same things. So they're not necessarily the manufacturer of the items. So when we do reviews of the, the drills and all that stuff, we're not necessarily doing a review for that particular company. We're doing a review for the manufacturer of that, which is available across several different companies. So if you've noticed, you find a lot of the same things on Temu that you do on Amazon and some of these other items. So what I wanted to talk about this time is a little bit more about packaging, pricing, and shipping, because that is where the difference is. It's sort of like if you bought a 12 pack of Dr. Pepper, famous Texas drink out here. Uh, it's a soda that we drink out here for those of you not familiar with it. So if you bought a 12 pack on, of Dr. Pepper from Amazon and got a 12 pack of Dr. Pepper from your local grocery store, the Dr. Pepper would taste the same, but it's the pricing, the shipping, the how long it takes you to get it, all that stuff that makes the difference. So I was going to cover a little bit more about that instead of just doing an unboxing of the items. So what do we have here? Well, this order I placed on April 29th, and it arrived on May 9th, which means it was 11 days from China. However, I will add that I live in a rural area, which tends to add an extra day because we have a contract carrier. And if stuff doesn't come in the night before, since she rolls out at like 7 in the morning, uh, if it's not already there, then we don't get it till the next day. So there is usually a day, one day, sometimes two, uh, Amazon orders, for example, here take four to five days instead of the single day or two. Although I did hear they're building an Amazon warehouse in San Angelo, so that may change in the near, somewhat near future. So anyway, April 29th to May 9th, I bought five items in here, and I'll give you just kind of a sneak preview general idea of what I got here. I got a desk clock diamond painting. I got a placemat diamond painting. Two different canvases, one 40 by 40, one 40 by 80, and a partial drill, what I've heard people call bubble canvases, for th that was a 30 by 40. So the total cost at that time off of their website, retail normal price would have been 68.39, but I took advantage of their discounts that they had going at the time. So I saved $13.68, so I paid 62.70 for these five items, so a little over 10 bucks an item, if you average it that way, and it was free shipping. So it arrived today in one of these thin plastic mailers, but I I'll have my address here, but I did notice it's rather large and it didn't get rolled up or anything because there is one thing that is rectangular here, I'm guessing that's the placemat. So it was shipped carefully enough that they didn't roll or bend that placemat. And then I can feel a couple things rolled up here and a package that feels kind of hard in here too. So let's open it up 
so I don't make more noise. I'll just do it this way. And I'll show you what we have here. So indeed, we have a box here. I'm suspecting that this is the clock kit. I haven't seen any unboxings. I may have just missed them because I haven't watched too many videos lately, but I thought I'd share one of these clocks and that's partly why I placed the order. So there's the box that I'm guessing is the clock. I have this, which is in a sealed package. I have one canvas here, not folded or bent. I have another one here and then I have the placemat and that should be everything. Now they don't include a paper invoice or anything. I don't know, most people don't include those anymore because you can go online and you get your emails and everything with it. So since this is sitting open here, I guess we'll start here. So the placemats, I only got one. I don't think it's a set of four, it's just one placemat. But I wanted to test it out before I bought like a full set or anything. But these are like doing a special drill canvas, only much larger. So I didn't look up the size. It's placemat sized. <laughs> Will that work? But I, I did look at a few of the pictures on the website first before I picked this out. So I do know it has a plastic cover if you were wondering how in the world you'd diamond paint and use a placemat. So we have the drills. We have a kit and we have the plastic cover. So this was the larger rectangle thing that was uh, keeping that from being rolled up. And then we have the placemat. And this is actually a pretty thick plastic in and of itself. So it's not a canvas. This is, um, I'm trying to think of an equivalent. It's, it's really thick plastic. I don't know how else to describe it. So that's a nice, uh, thing to find. There is a tiny little wrinkle here, it looks like, from uh, what it survived through from getting from China to here, but I think that'll straighten out. That doesn't look too bad. So this is the drill field here. You notice there is no key or legend on the side. It goes all the way up to the edge here. There are some special drills, as you can see there. It looks pretty easy to read, lots of different colors, a lot of diamond painting in this one. So definitely larger than a 30 by 40. I'm looking around to see if I see my tape measure here and hoping that my dog was nice and quiet and settled. So I waited till after 10 o'clock and now he's growling a little bit. So hopefully that noise is not getting to you, but I do not have the size darn. I should have written that down. But I would say that a 30 by 40 would be maybe about this big. So it seems a little bit bigger than a 30 by 40. You can look it up on their website for more details. I, I'll probably put the links as well since it'll be easy for me to get to since this was my order that I placed. So you peel back the sticky cover. It's still nice and thick. And even the cover is actually pretty thick plastic there. And the stick is the usual diamond painting stick. So it does come with a standard tray with some baggies. And then we have all the drills here. And because this does not have a legend on it, I believe you will have to look at the bags here on the drills. And they're probably numbered the way that most coaster and off canvas diamond painting um, drills are. So I'll keep that because I'm not going to work on this right away. Uh, as a side note, I had another start that I did actually day before yesterday for an event I decided to go ahead and join. But I'll talk about that this weekend. This is about this unboxing. So yes, they do have numbers on the diamonds there. It's kind of little there. This one is number 11, 12 there but most of these look like standard rhinestones of various colors there's a lot of black for the background to make the other colors pop which should be really nice some blues so that's 11 through 19 so i'm guessing this will be 1 through 10 which tells me it's 19 colors and i thought there were some special drills but it looks like not i, I was 
I can't see that well. <laughs> I have my cheaters on while I'm filming this, so I looked at those shapes and thought that they might be special drills, but now that I got it up touching my nose so I can see, which probably helps you see some of the drill field, but now that it's touching my nose, I see indeed that it's all just rhinestones. So here are the rest of the colors. There are some reds, yellow, green, the colors of the rainbow, basically, as you would expect. So I will probably have to kit this one up, probably into baggies, because there are only 19 colors. But because there isn't a legend or anything like that, just like coasters, uh, you would have to look at the numbers either on the bags or put them in something with a sticker so you can see the numbers because these bags are easy to dump over if you can't do the project in more than a single sitting. And this one, because of its size, I'm guessing that I could not. And the cover for the placemat opens on the side. It's pretty thick plastic as well. I don't know if you can see that. Looks to be in very nice shape from the shipping. And this will just slide into here after you're done. Let's test it out. I'm not sure how well it will fit right now because of the plastic cover on it. Um, we'll have to work on that a little bit. I'm not going to waste your time on that one, but because of the thickness of the plastic cover over it, it is making it a little tricky to put in right now because I can't bend it quite the way I would want to to lay it in there. So that is e D placemat kit that I picked out and they had a few different designs and again this one was normally $15.72 and I saved about $3.10 on the sales they had at the end of April. So how about a canvas? This one is a smaller one relatively. It's a 40 by 40 and this one was a little bit different style than the butterfly that I picked out, but kind of the same general idea. So this drill field, it's instead of being like a pixel drill field, you can see they just put the symbols over a picture there, if that makes any sense. So it's not like little squares colored in with each color. You can see kind of the outlines there of the flowers that are showing up between drills and stuff. So uh, a lot of people prefer that for rounds. I could go either way because um, you see what shows through just a little bit, but not enough to really make a difference. So a lot of the budget friendly are more this style. And this one is a 40 by 40 and it looks like just like the other one. This is a true to size 40 by 40 for the drill field, not the canvas size. So that does indeed look rather large. This one has 25 colors here. Very easy symbols to read. It looks like one through eight and then alphabet letters through X. And are they cute? It's the lovebirds. I probably should tell you what's on the picture there. We've got a very spring-like pattern here. Uh, lovebirds and flowers. Aren't they cute? And I'm curious, a lot of times you want to look at the faces and the eyes for smaller um, picture rendering. And it looks like they'll come out just fine. I can see the eyes there. Now the, the colors in there are a little bit hard to see, but I'm going to use a light pad for that. And I may even do a couple special drills in there. I might change the eyes up a little bit. But you got the feather pattern, and some of that feather pattern should show through between the different drills because this is a round kit. So we got standard boat here, and that's to be expected. This one, this 40 by 40, normal price was only $8.77, and I got another, another $1.75 off with the sales. So these are how it's kitted up. It's the these smaller drill bags. They're not in Ziploc bags or anything, so it will need to be kitted up, but we'll take a quick look at the colors here. So like I said, these companies, and it looks like New Craft Day is that way, they're selling uh, diamond paintings and items from different manufacturers. So you're not gonna get the same exact setup for every single diamond painting. You're gonna see different things. 
Now these smaller baggies, they don't bother me because this was the world of diamond painting when I started back in 2017. That's all you could get were these baggies. So I just fold them in twos or threes and cut across the top and pour them in whatever I'm using and I can get through them actually pretty quick. So this set here of six 353s, I could do it in two cuts and it won't take long. And usually uh, these bags, you can kind of count how many drills you have because these bags usually hold about 200 drills each. I think they're done by weight, but in general, it's about 200 drills each. So we have some peach. We have a dark green here, an orangish color, and they do have the DMCs, DMC numbers uh, for, that's the color number. It's equivalent to the DMC thread colors used for cross-stitching and embroidery. So that's green 733. Here's 610. I don't believe there would be any ABs in here, especially for that price. So this was a little over $6 with the, the sale and free shipping. There's 813. Nice pink there. Grayish blue. And Sometimes finding words for these colors doesn't work that well. I think that's why so many people read off the numbers. Now this is the one confusing thing about some of these baggies. There is no 999. This is 666. So if you're a little unsure, um, you can look at the chart and it'll show you what the number's supposed to be there to know. Usually there's not one of each color either the upside down or the right side up but i guess it could happen i i've never had any trouble with that so we got a couple blues here some yellows some pinks this is probably the largest color here the 3865 which is the closest to white it's just barely uh, slightly different than a white and um Sometimes I have trouble seeing the numbers on the dark drills, like what number is that? So I'll empty one of these into the container and then I can read it just fine <laughs> and go from there. But this looks like a, you can sometimes shine it in the light like that and see it. This is a upside down. Nope. Because that starts with an eight. Nope. Okay. That's fun. There it is. 3371. <laughs> Should have known. Dark brown. 964. You get the idea here. So that is our Lovebirds. And again, that normal price was a little over $8. I got a, a dollar, or no, that one was a dollar 75 off. So very nice and very affordable price for a 40 by 40. So let's go for this one, because this is, I'm guessing, going to be what some people refer to as a bubble canvas. I've never done one of those, and I've had a hard time finding them. I've done such searches on Temu at various times. I've done searches on Amazon. And when I searched bubble, bubble drill or bubble diamond painting, I couldn't get anything to come up except maybe a couple of those really small little kid ones. So I really wanted to do one, and that's why. I ordered this one. So again, this looks like another manufacturer here because it's packaged a little bit differently. And all, all of these, I was able to see the rendering uh, by looking through the photos for each of these items. So I did know what this canvas was going to look like because I was able to see it before I bought it. So basically, a bubble canvas has round drills, but it's a little more like a special drill canvas or a partial. The drills are all different sizes of rounds. So that's what the different symbols are, are, are the different colors, but also the different sizes. And that's why I guess some people refer to them as bubble drills, because it looks more like a bunch of bubbles making up the picture. So this is a 30 by 40. And again, um, next time I... Okay, I am back. Hopefully <laughs> you didn't notice that. I can hopefully edit that out. And that wasn't too painful. I was trying to move the camera slightly to show you what my 
table look like and what a disaster it was and the camera fell off and slammed on the table and then it was a bit of a mess there for a minute but <laughs> we're back on track now so I will hopefully edit all that but the short version of all that was to say that part of my weekend plans is to clean off this table because I have too many projects going on too many different things and it's a disaster on that half so I can't record any more big projects right now so anyway back to what we were doing so this has 17 different types of drills, different colors, and different sizes of round drills. So we have an ocean with a sun abstract with a little bit of sky back there. So I thought that was a cool one. And I shouldn't say ocean. It looks like maybe mountains with maybe a river through there. So typical boat and I should also tell you the price on this one the bubble this is a 30 by 40 original price nine dollars and 24 cents minus two dollars so a little over seven dollars is what I paid for this so these drills should be interesting because they should be a lot of the same colors but different sizes so again looks like 17 and this does look like a very colorful painting. This probably won't take too long because of the larger and smaller ones and the fact that it's sort of like a parcel because of that because you can't fill in some of those spaces between the big ones and the little ones. So here we have big purple, little purple, tiny purple, big blue, medium blue, little blue. There's a couple bags of those. Big red medium little and that seems to be the pattern there's the big medium and small orange it looks like we're reversing order here there's or maybe there's just a small of that color and then we have big and small and medium and small so different sizes different colors rhinestones and so the bags are numbered with the the drills so that should be interesting. I'm curious to see how one of those works out. Then we have a slightly bigger canvas here. This is an 80 by 40. And this one original price was $15.84 minus $3.20 from the discount. So a little over $12 for this one. And again, this is 40 by 80. And I picked this one out because I thought I could bling it up. So this one is going to look a little bit messy to you. I've seen these on several different places and I held off and held off. And then finally I decided I'd go ahead and give one of these a try. So I keep looking to see, well, we're upside down. Let's try to fix that at least. If they list maybe different manufacturers on these, but they do not. So this is supposed to look, it's an abstract as you can probably tell, but what it reminds me of is an agate or a rock that you see at museums. It has been sliced and polished. And I am also a rock collector because I collect all the things and do all the different crafts and hobbies. I used to make jewelry with, with gemstones and all that stuff, but I do have a rock tumbler. And there's something amazing about West Texas. We have a part of West Texas down near the towns of what are called Alpine, Marfa. Uh, it's volcanic down there, which means there's a lot of agate hunting. And the ranches out there uh, during the spring and again during the fall will charge people to be able to come out and hunt for agates and special rocks on their ranches. And you pay a flat fee to fill up a... Uh, five gallon bucket with whatever you can take and it's really fun and then you can bring them home and for those that make jewelry they can slice them up and all that you can see uh, some of the jewelry on Etsy from a lot of those agates look for West Texas agates Balmeray agates um, Woodward Ranch there's a lot of different names they would put for them but anyway you didn't want to hear all about rock hounding. I, I do that about once or twice a year. I do go down there and do that with my hubby. So I might have to disappear for one of those trips in the fall. They don't do them in the summer because it gets over 100 degrees. 
and in the winter it, you can sometimes be dealing with snow because there's a little bit of elevation there so it's harder to plan around winter weather but anyway this to me reminded me of a beautiful blue agate which Balmeray State Park out in West Texas is known for the Balmeray blue agate that's about the only place where you can get them so I thought I could have fun with this and bling it up so let's look closer here at the drill field. It's another one like the Lovebirds where the symbols are printed on top of the picture rather than it being turned into pixel art. So you can see some of the, the marbling there in the different colors that may not show up completely on the drills, but some of the, those colors will show up between the round drills. So this has... 24 colors there and <laughs> well that's interesting it's all alphabet <laughs> but not in order <laughs> which I'm laughing it's really okay because I don't do things I don't kid up by these numbers I kid up by symbol so I can put them in whatever alphabet alphabetical order that I want to do but we do have the DMC numbers on there and I'm trying to see the dark ones have the white, which I like so that I can see the and read the symbols against the dark. I have a harder time like this C color. That's a little bit harder because it's uh, kind of a darkish purple with a black symbol written on top. But these other ones, the d other dark ones have the dark letter or the light letter on the dark and then the light ones will have the dark letters, but I'm trying to see. There is a D, uh, but I don't see an O. Oh wait, there's an O. I don't see a Q. Uh, O's and Q's are sometimes hard to tell apart. Sometimes X's and K's I've had trouble with, but they are completely different colors and one is white and the other is black. So shouldn't be a problem. We have all the different shades and colors here that could be blinged up. I imagine putting like lines of crystals through here in different colors. I do have a small collection that I bought on a D-Stash group of a bunch of different colors of crystals and things. Now how is this kitted up? This is kitted up with these baggies and I like these baggies, the ones that have the diamond shape on them. And I don't know if we need to open this because we can see all the colors here. I didn't expect to have any ABs in there and I'm not seeing any, but you can kind of see the range of colors here. So I'm not going to unbox this because otherwise this video might go on forever. But yeah, I'm not seeing any ABs, but I also wasn't expecting any in there. So this one again is a 40 by 80. And this was $15.84 normal price. I saved $3.20, which makes it a little over $12, about 12 and a half. But the size of this one makes it well worth that price, the canvas. None of these are like scalloped or fuzzy bottom or all that. But again, this is budget company. You don't expect that, but it, it is very thick canvas. Very nice cover paper here. The stick is very good and sometimes some companies are sneaking double-sided adhesive and putting a clear cover on. This is not. This is poured glue. You can smell and feel and try to lift up a corner and that's one of the ways you can tell that this is indeed double-sided adhesive and it is a big one. So this one I'm actually looking forward to for a pretty good price to have something like this that'll take a while that I can turn into my own art by blinging it up. But I know what you guys might be hanging around waiting for and that's this one. It looks like the box has one hole in it, maybe it looks a little bit flattened, but I've been seeing these clocks and I honestly wasn't expecting much. I thought maybe it just looks like it's a clock and there's not really a clock in there. But then I saw a post from somebody that did one of these and there is indeed a real clock in here. So let's take a look at what we have. So we have a stand here. 
And this does, it looks off-white because it has a protective sheet on each side that you would peel off when you're ready. But this is part of the, the clock deal here. So this is where you set the time, moving it around. This is where the battery goes. I actually have another clock that is just like this with the same uh, mechanism, a real clock that's over sitting by my TV, not a diamond painting one. And then this is the side you would screw the clock pieces to, which are in this bag. So I once took a round diamond painting. I mean, by round it was, you know, not round drills, but it was a round shape uh, and bought a clock mechanism. It looks just like this as well from a hobby store for a few dollars and made my own clock out of one. So basic toolkit, but we have, I'm not going to open and potentially lose all these parts here. We have uh, little black hands with brass fittings there for the clock and all those good stuff we will need to build the clock and there is a video that you can go to that's linked from the site on how to assemble the clock but it's pretty straightforward there. So what does the diamond painting look like? Well, I was curious this is just one-sided it's not double-sided so there's not a whole lot of diamond painting to this. I think the the fancy thing about this one is the fact that it does make a clock so this would go in the back like this and you would screw the hands on, put a battery in, set the time here and see how it works. So this one's gonna take a while before we know how well it really works all together after the clock is assembled and all that good stuff. But this is a partial and it is a special drill because you see some of these larger ones here, but it won't take very long. So I suspect I can get this one up and going by the end of the weekend and we can watch it and see how accurate the clock is on this. But if you were curious, yes indeed these are real clocks but nothing too fancy. But it is one-sided so you probably want to set it on a shelf facing outward not like on a table where you can walk around all sides of it. And this does slide into there. I can't do it right now because of the coverings, the coatings, on, on this. I don't want to push it in and mess any of that up. So we'll do that at the end. But this is the butterfly design. They had several designs there on the website, but I had to pick the butterflies. I'm starting to have a butterfly theme going on with a lot of what I've been buying lately. It just seems to be my thing right now. So that is how it looks. No diamond painting on the clock part because the hands wouldn't move around very well if you did that. So this is another one with no like key or anything, just like coasters and all that. You just get the numbers off of the baggies. And this one is probably one I won't kit up because it'll only take me a couple hours, maybe an hour or two. So this one I might have done by Saturday and can give you an update on how well it is working. So we have some dark colored drills there. I love the pearl drills up against the other ones. So lots of those yellow pearls. There's a pink, there's a blue, green, lots of rainbow bright spring colors. And then some of these big special drills here. We have the half pearl rounds and look at those. Can you see those in the camera? Those are kind of cool. It's like lots of little tiny rhinestones on the top of those. I think they're just, you know, holes poked in with the shimmery stuff behind it, but it, it has the look of lots of little shiny rhinestones. That's cool. And then we have some marquees here and then some really sparkly smaller rounds there. So this is how the clock kit comes. If you were curious and looking at them like I was. This is actually what prompted me to make that whole purchase because these are just a little bit pricier because of the clock but not too bad. So this kit was normally $18.82 so I saved almost four dollars on this one. But still for all of these diamond paintings, the clock, the placemat, 
the bird canvas, the abstract canvas, and the partial bubble. So that's five of them. I paid $62.70 and it arrived in 11 days and that was free shipping because their shipping, free shipping I think starts at $49, but they always have sales going on. And I do have a discount code, which I will add below. Again, this video was not asked of me. This was something I just wanted to do myself. So it is not a paid promotion or anything like that. So we have the clock, we have this. We have the bubble drill. We have the lovebirds. And then we have the placemat. So hopefully a lot of different things that you haven't seen before. And I'll get to one or two of these here in the next few days so I can give a final review of some of them. And I think what I'll do is I'll finish that butterfly as well and do just a review of a few items that were completed from this company. And they are sending me a few more goodies probably in a couple weeks. I will have them to show. So here's the point where I ask you that if you like my content to please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, uh, add a thumbs up, hit the notification bell. All these things really help grow my channel, which gets it out there more so people can see it more. It does help me out a little bit. So I know sometimes it's like, oh, do I really have to push that thumbs up? Well, it's up to you. You certainly don't have to, but it does help out if you take that time out and if you enjoyed the content to please do so. So I will continue to provide more diamond painting content as I can get it in. I do have another little unboxing sitting over there on the chair that came in today from Michaels and a couple make market kits. And I also have another themed unboxing that'll be coming soon, but I'm waiting for the stuff to come in from about three different places. So that one might be two to three weeks away before I can get to that one. And that's an unboxing of tornado canvases because it's severe weather season. Tornadoes have been on our minds. We've been really busy dealing with them and so why not i found several different tornado canvases i'd actually spent a few years looking for storm and tornado canvases and had no luck for the longest time and then all of a sudden they're everywhere over the last month or two <laughs> so i do already have one that i've done an unboxing for from the center one company the rainbow with the lightning in the background but i have some more that i'll be showing you so Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time that you spent hanging out with me. Uh, comment, email, check out uh, this company. Again, this is New Craft Day, and I do have a discount code there for 10% off. Plus, they have other sales going on and other discount codes. I think you can pile on discount codes, though I don't think you can... Um, I don't think you have to use just one. So try it out and see if it works. And I appreciate you watching. Take care out there and I'll catch you next time.